All right, I'm Drew. I'm Adam. And we're here at uh, Beaver Island Brewing Company to uh, try some beers and watch the brewing process. So uh, you guys come in and check it out with us. Uh, this is kind of the starting point for the whole process. This is our mill. And um, we get malted barley uh, from all over the world. In fact, today we brewed uh, with uh, barley from the Czech Republic. Um, and just depending on the style of beer that we're doing, we'll, we'll import that, that malt and make it as authentic as possible. So we need to take that malted barley, run it through this mill, and it feeds up this auger here and into uh, our mash louder tun uh, right here. And uh, that crushed barley is mixed with hot water. And basically once it's all in there, it's mixed together. It kind of looks like a, a porridge and smells wonderful. And what we do is we let that sit for one hour in there. And what that does, it takes the starch and it breaks it down into simple sugars that the yeast will later um, consume and make fermentation of it. So it's a real important step um, of the process. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll let that sit for an hour. At the end of that hour, we need to start transferring uh, the liquid that's in there over into the brew kettle over here. Um, and that's accomplished by there's a false bottom in that, that tank. So basically a slotted floor. Think of it as a giant coffee filter. So the liquid is allowed to um, run through that filter. Um, it goes through a, a, a little tank on the front side of that tank and is pumped over to the brew kettle. And while we're doing that, we're spraying hot water on top of it, what we call the mash. And that uh, rinses all the sugars out that we need. We want to be as efficient as possible getting all those sugars. Um, once we get the volume of what we call work, which is basically just unfermented beer in the brew kettle, we're left with a bunch of grain in there. You can see the back door here, we'll uh, hook the chute up to that, uh, put a tote in front of it, and we uh, shovel all that grain out. And then we have local farmers come and pick that up and they use that for feed. Yeah. So there's no alcohol in it. So you know, livestock is fine, uh, but they do love it. Um, so it's a nice way to reuse that that waste yeah. and someone gets a benefit out of it. So awesome. Uh, then we have to go in and clean that tank and rinse it all out. In the meantime, this is coming up to a boil. And uh, once it's to a boil, we'll add hops. And hops are just a um, kind of a, a leafy plant that grows mm -hmm. on a vine and they provide the bitterness to beer and they also provide flavor and aroma. And uh, we'll add those at certain times during the boil to achieve the bitterness level and the flavor and aroma level that we want. And the boil is usually an hour long. <laughs> that um, sterilizes the work, which is super important in brewing, for one thing. Um, and it concentrates it down a little bit and then adds the uh, benefit of all the hops. So, so once the boil's done, uh, we turn on a giant whirlpool inside there. Mm -hmm. It spins around, acts as a giant centrifuge. And then all the solids, the hot particulate proteins, um, end up in a nice little tight pile on the bottom of that tank, and that all stays behind. Um, so we need to transfer that hot work, chill it down, and then move it over to a fermenter. Um, so we'll let it rest 20 minutes. It'll settle out, and then it runs through this heat exchanger uh, right there, um, which cools the work down to a fermentation temperature, uh, usually 68 degrees um, is what we shoot for. And then it transfers over to the fermentation tanks across the, the room there, where we add yeast to it. The yeast will start consuming that sugar um, and basically turning it into carbon dioxide and alcohol. Okay. And in about five or six days, that main fermentation is done. Um, we'll crash a tank at that point. We can sometimes use that yeast over for the, the subsequent batch, mm -hmm. which is nice. And then uh, we usually that set at least five days, uh, sometimes over a month, depending on what beer um, we're doing. And then we'll uh, usually filter it into a bright tank, um, which is where we'll carbonate the beer, and then it goes into kegs uh, from that tank. We've had a really great reception on that beer. We just released it last week. Mm. What's the name of this one? Uh, Check Pills. Ah, yeah. This is pretty good too. I typically don't like light beer, but um, this seems to have, you know, it's light, but it has some flavor there as yeah. well. Oh yeah, light, crisp. Yep. I can catch some of those flavors though. I don't think I can place them. The malt is very crackery, kind of like a saltine cracker profile, yep. and the hops are very floral, spicy. Um, so it's it really what kind of kicked off 
filter beers in the world. Which beer is this? That's the Union Suit. That's our Imperial Union Porter. Suit. Gotcha. This is 7.5? 7.5. Wow. Yeah. You know, I thought actually it wasn't technically a beer past 5%. Oh no, it can still be. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All the way to 12. Really beer to me is like if it has malted barley or a cereal grain as the main ingredient, um, usually it has to have hops to be considered beer. Gotcha. This is really good. Very smooth, full flavored, rich taste. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, very yeah. popular. It's one of our most popular beers. <laughs> Thumbs up. Also, I should point out, I'm rapping. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Look at that. Zoom in. <laughs> Do a sponsorship here. <laughs>